Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the Dog Father, and this is Barbecue Boulevard. Now today, I'm going to show you how to smoke spare ribs on our Pit Boss Competition Series Titan. You with it? Let's get it. All right, guys, that's right. We're going to be making spare ribs today. Uh, now, I get a lot of questions about ribs, and I get a lot of feedback. So uh, that's why we're going to do spare ribs today. Now, I'm going to show you exactly uh, what the spare ribs look like, how we're going to trim them up, how we're going to rub them. We're going to get them on our grill, the cooking process. We're going to go all the way through it, okay? It's not going to take all day. I'm not going to take your whole day trying to show you how to make spare ribs, but... I'm going to give you a good foundation so that you can reproduce this anytime you like. So let's get in the studio and get these uh, ribs trimmed up. All right, let's go. All right, so here we've got our uh, spare ribs here. We've got the full spare rib. So we're going to be doing some trimming here. Now, this isn't the greatest looking, uh, you know, rack of spare ribs, but hey, this is what we got to work with. So we'll make it happen. So uh, we're going to kind of flip it over and look at the back side here and I uh, got a pretty good skirt that's on here and a breastbone attached. So that's what we're going to be taking off. So let's go ahead and start taking this off of here. And I'm going to start by getting this skirt off of here. And I'm just kind of just run my knife through the end there. So I have something to hold on to here and kind of lift it up and just kind of go right along the uh, contour of the bones. And we're just going to take this off. Now you got this great piece of meat here. Now you could throw it away or you could actually grill this up and make a little taco or something while you're cooking. It actually, it's pretty good meat, but it's going to come off of here for our uh, ribs here. So now what are we going to do? Well, next thing I'm going to do in uh, efforts to get this shaped up is we're going to take this uh, breastbone off of here. So I'm going to flip this around here, take a look at where I want to cut. And I'm going to do this so you guys can see it, but I'm going to cut right along here. And this is just cartilage that's in there. You're just going to be cutting right through that. And just like that, you got that cut off. Now, again, uh, you could toss this if you want or throw it on the pit. You got some good rib tips that you can make there. So still good eating, but we're going to set that to the side. And now we can see that our, our ribs are starting to take shape here. Next thing I'm going to do is get over here to this, uh, I call it the tail end here, where it's kind of flappy. You got the bones over here on this side, and this side's always kind of flappy. So I kind of feel my way over here. I'll tell you what, let me turn it around here. You can kind of see, well, maybe not, but you got your little bones uh, that go in here. And I usually go over about two bones, and I can feel that there. And I'm just going to run my knife right along there and cut that off. Now I got that piece off of there. And again, you can kind of see how our ribs are starting to take shape. So I kind of get that turned around there. And I'm just kind of rounding this off a little bit. And that's looking pretty good. Now anything that's hanging like, you know, this is kind of hanging off here. We're just going to take that off. Again, just kind of run your knife right underneath there. Pull it off. And that's looking pretty good there. Got a little piece here on the end here. We're going to get that taken off as well. All right. Now our ribs are looking fairly decent. Um, kind of rub this out here. I can see what I need to trim off here on this edge here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off as well. All right. Now we're looking fairly good here. Now most of the time whenever you have your uh your uh, spare ribs, you're going to have a pocket of fat that's going to be here on this side. And uh, this is fairly small, so I'm not really going to worry about that too much today. So I think we're looking pretty, pretty good here. And I think we're ready to move on to getting these ribs all rubbed up. So let's go ahead and get our rub on. All right, guys. So as you know, there's a million different rubs that you can, uh, you know, put on your ribs here uh, today. We are going to go with salt and pepper. We're actually going to come with our 16 mesh black pepper here. And I'm going to get a pretty good dose on here. Wait, what would you say? Oh, I didn't take the membrane off. I don't always take the membrane off. The membrane is a subjective thing. Some people swear you have to take them off. Some people say, no, don't take them off. 
it's whatever you like to do. There's no rules in barbecue, right? Do what you want. So I'm going to leave this membrane on here. Besides, it's a great source of collagen and uh, I'm going to snack on it. So if you crisp it up right, it's going to be uh, fairly decent to eat. So I'm going to leave it on there. I'm not using a binder. My ribs are still kind of tacky. So uh, I'm not worried about the uh, pepper and uh, salt sticking to the rib because after all, that's all the binder does is help those rubs adhere to your meat. So I don't think we're going to have an issue with that today. So we're OK. All right. So we got a nice little coat of uh, 16 mesh black pepper on here. Next, we're coming with our salt. OK, and this is a kosher salt and this happens to be diamond crystal. Use whatever you got. It's all good. Again, if you don't want to go just salt and pepper, use whatever rub you got on hand. Make up your own rub. Use a store bought rub, whatever you want to do. Again, there's no rules in barbecue. All right. So we're going to pat this in here just so we can make sure we got even application and we're going to flip it over. And the same thing is going to happen on this meat side. We're going to come with that 16 mesh black pepper. And you just kind of sprinkle from high so you get a good even uh, dose of pepper across the surface here. And I'm going to go a little heavier because I really do like my 16 mesh. So if you don't care for 16 mesh, don't use it. Use whatever you like. All right. Next up, again, kosher salt is going on. And it's looking pretty good to me. And so just like that, we've got these uh, this rack of rib. We've got it all rubbed up we're patting it in and next up we're ready to get this on the grill so i'm going to give this a few minutes to uh, get a sweat in and i'll meet you guys at the grill all right guys we are here at the grill now today we are using our pit boss competition series titan grill we are running at 275 degrees fahrenheit and we are using the smoke setting of p7 as well as we're using our competition blend pellets and uh, let's get these uh, ribs on. Plenty of smoke as you can see. Now we're going to be using our top rack here. I've got another rack of uh, beef ribs here going, but that's for another something. But anyway, our uh, ribs are going to go right here. We're using the top rack or our second to top. I've got the absolute top rack pulled out. So second to top rack, we're going to get these ribs on and they're going to go on just like this. All right, so here we've got these ribs on, kind of bunching them up the way that I want them to cook. And just like that, our ribs are on here. To give you guys kind of a close up look at them and see what they're looking like. But uh, here we go, we're on the grill. Again, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll let them roll and I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, gang, we are a little over the two hour mark and we're going to take a look at these uh, pork spare ribs and uh, they're looking pretty good. I'm digging the color that is starting to develop on them. Looks really good. Looks like the bones are uh, coming along pretty good there, too, as well. A little bit of pullback. So we're looking pretty good. Now, should we spritz the ribs? Mainly, I look at the ribs to see how they're progressing, if they're looking really dry, if they're starting to split at all. And at that point, if it looks pretty good, I may not spritz them or I may spritz them. I'm going to go ahead and spritz them. I just really kind of feel like spritzing them. And this is what I've got here uh, to spritz with. Now, in my spray bottle here, I've literally got a little bit of water, uh, some apple cider vinegar and some hot sauce. And that's really it. Now, what I'm stressing to you is you can use whatever you want for your spritz. You're literally just adding a little moisture to the surface of your ribs. And so whatever flavors you like, go for it. Again, there's no rules and barbecue. Have fun with it. Now, I'm just going to spritz here and uh, just kind of get the surface wet here. So again, I can hopefully minimize splitting of the rib meat. Uh, and that's looking pretty good to me there. So smells really good. Uh, I can smell that hot sauce coming through as well as that vinegar. So we're doing pretty good there. All right. Now, again, this is just over the two hour mark. We've got these ribs spritzed. They're going back in. We're going to keep them rolling and I'll bring you back in a bit. 
All right, guys, here we are about the uh, three and a half, four hour mark. We're going to take a look at our ribs here. And they're looking pretty good. Got some great color going on. And I'm just kind of feeling how floppy they are. Gives me an idea of just how done they are. And these are actually going to take a little bit longer. I wasn't expecting them to be done yet, but just was kind of checking. Kind of looking at the bottom to see how they're progressing here. And all in all, they're looking really good. I think what I want to do is I want to flip them over. And I'm going to let them cook on this uh, top side down here for a little bit. Uh, just to kind of even out the cooking process there. Uh, and it's feeling really good, actually. It's got plenty of moisture here, so I'm not going to put any spritz or anything on it. But I'm going to uh, flip it over here, and I'm going to let it keep going here for a little bit longer. And uh, guys, I'll bring you back here in a little bit when we uh, move on to the next step. All right, guys, we are now about four and a half hours into this. It's been about 30 minutes or so since I last had you here. And that was where we uh, flipped these ribs over. And now I'm ready to get to the next step here. So we got our ribs here, uh, meat side down. They're looking fantastic. And what I want to do is I want to apply a glaze to this. Now, I've got a glaze here put together in my, uh, my bottle. Now, a glaze is very simple. You put whatever you want. Uh, this is basically just a barbecue sauce. I uh, wanted it a little sweeter, so I added some brown sugar. I wanted it spicy, so I added some uh, hot sauce. I uh, added some apple cider vinegar and some water to thin it out. But basically, you're adding whatever flavors you care for. Uh, if you want it more savory, add some garlic or add some uh, uh, rosemary or whatever you want in it. So uh, this is what I've got in here. And I'm just going to sprinkle or uh, <laughs> spread some along here on the back side of these ribs going to use my hand here to just kind of smear it around and uh, coat the rib. That's all I'm really doing with this right now is just coating the rib. And this is really going to set on the back side of these ribs. And uh, it's just going to be really good. Nice and sticky on the back side here for me. And uh, that's all we're going to do. We're going to slide it back in here and we're going to close it up. And we'll come back here in a few more minutes and uh, we'll flip them over and we'll do the same thing on the back on the uh, front side. So see you in a bit. All right, gang, we let these ribs glaze here for about 10 minutes or so. And uh, we're going to get these flipped over. And we're going to do the same thing on the, the meat side here. Again, we're just getting our glaze put on here. And we're just kind of spreading it around. Smells phenomenal. It's looking pretty good. All right. Now we're going to close it back up and we're going to give it a few minutes here and uh, bring you back here in a second. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to get our ribs off. Now they've been glazing here for about 10 minutes on that meat side. And we've got our aluminum foil down here and we're just going to take some more of our uh, regular glaze and we're just going to put it down here on our uh, foil just like that. And, uh, man, let's go get these ribs off the grill and uh, get them wrapped. All right, look at these ribs looking fantastic. All right, let's get them over here. All right. Now our ribs are on our uh, glaze on our foil. We're going to put a little bit more glaze over top of it. And now we're ready to just get them all wrapped up, guys. So... We're just going to make sure we don't poke any holes in our foil when we wrap here. Fold it from those sides over. And now we're just going to fold it just like this, like a little package. And we're going to let these ribs rest. And I'll meet you guys back in the studio. All right, guys, we are back in the studio and we've got our ribs rested. That's right. We got them off our grill a little while ago. We got the glaze on them and we got them wrapped in foil and they've rested for about 20 minutes. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, slice into them. Now they smell phenomenal and uh, I'm excited to get into these ribs. So let's take a look at these ribs and get into them. All right, let's get them out of the foil here. All right, so here's our ribs. They're looking phenomenal. And uh, man, let's let's get these things cut here. All right, guys. So there's our rib. It's looking pretty good here. Color on it is looking good. 
So let's take a bite of this. All right, guys, cheers. All right, gang, so this was a really good rib. Uh, the smokiness is there, the tenderness is there. I got the sweet, I got the heat, just what I look for in uh, my uh, flavor profile for ribs. So this was a successful cook. I think anybody can do this if you're intimidated by ribs or you're just new to, to uh, cooking ribs. Don't be afraid of it. Jump on in there. These are just basic principles. There's so many different ways to make ribs. So don't isolate on just one. And remember, have fun with the cook, no matter what you're cooking. All right, if you enjoyed what you saw in this video, make sure you check out what I've got listed right there, as well as click that subscribe button right there. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. I'm out.